Hello everybody, welcome to another review. Today we'll be taking a look at the Internet Explorer 9 and its security features. So let's just open up the browser. Now this is IE9, it looks a lot better but I've got Aero disabled on this machine. So it looks uh, kind of ugly but looks pretty nice on a normal computer. Now for this test we're going to have security level set to medium high which is the way it comes from the factory and we will have protected mode on I know it makes some changes but that's okay and it does offer a lot of customization when it comes to security you can basically just control everything that it does but I'm going to leave it all to medium high which is the default and I'm not going to mess with it. So this is how we're going to run our test. So let's just navigate to clean a max. And we'll try out some of the latest links and see how many exactly it blocks. Now the best part of IE9, that is Internet Explorer 9 from Microsoft, which is basically your default web browser. I think the best part about its security is that it does have a smart screen filter which basically protects you against all forms of uh, trojans and all that kind of stuff that come in downloads basically scans all the files that you download okay this uh, let's try to reload it Okay, so let's begin with our testing here. Now this is a Trojan Crypt. Let's see how our browser reacts to this. Okay, this one was successfully at start downloading, but Smart Screen Filter hasn't kicked in yet. There you go, now it's running the security scan. And let's see if it gets it or if it's missed. Okay, there you go. It's not commonly downloaded and could harm your computer. So we'll hit delete. So first one was blocked. Now we'll try out this exploit. Wait for it to load. Doesn't appear to be working anymore. So we'll try the next one. And this is also dead. So let's try this JS redirector again. Okay, now it's redirecting us to some unsafe website, probably. Then we've got another Java file. So these are all basic redirects and all that kind of stuff. Um, probably dead. So let's try add more executable files to see how the smart screen filter works. Okay, so this one's another Trojan. Okay, so this one was let through. Let's try this adware. can't expect your browser to get all these sorts of adware but still this one was caught so so far it's uh, two out of three so let's keep in track of how many it's getting so this one was missed so let's try this one see if it drops any executable doesn't look like it's doing anything uh, it's dead so let's try out another one that's a Trojan Rogue let's wait for it to drop any file and this appears okay this one's dead as well 
So let's try the next one, which is, I think, some kind of infected web page. Now, I don't think Internet Explorer does very well in dealing with uh, web pages. I don't think it blocks too many of those. I think the main thing to test is the smart screen filter. Okay, this will put it to the test. Okay, so this one's probably not an executable. Yeah, it's not an executable, so I'll have to rename it so that we get it as an executable file because it doesn't scan your normal files, it only scans executable. At least mostly that's what happens. So that's pretty strange that one didn't work out the next time I tried it. Let's try this one, which is okay. Now this is certainly an executable and it has been cut. So we'll add one more to the scores. Try it for now. No. Okay. Yeah, it's blocked three out of four now. So that's the score so far. Let's try this rogue. Okay, this one is another rogue and it was blocked. Okay, so let's update the scores. That's four out of, uh, sorry about that, five. And we've got low detection malware here, I mean adware, and let's see if this one gets through. Seems to be a pretty big file. Yeah, that's because it's an adware. Let's try this Trojan fraud. Okay, this is pretty big. I'm not going to try that out. Just save time. Then I've got a Trojan agent. Save it. And uh, they're running the security scan. And that one has been blocked. And the next one is being scanned as well. And that one was blocked as well. Let's try this adware. Okay, so this one was missed. And you can see it's got a pretty high detection rate. So we tried three more, and we've got two piece of malware that were caught. So I'll add two here, six, and we tried three more, so eight. So six out of eight so far, and all this malware is from CleanMax. So now let's just try malware blacklist. Okay, so let's try some files from here. Got some exploits and all kinds of stuff. Some of them may be dead. This one doesn't seem to be working either. Okay, so let's try to get an executable here. Okay, this one's an executable. Okay, this one too. So that one turned out to be dead. So we'll try out these executable files. And here we've got download. Okay, that one was blocked. Okay, let's try this one and that one was blocked as well so I guess that's it because we tried our 10 links and the final scores are it's 8 out of 10 which is not that bad I mean 8 links were blocked in your browser straight away I mean 8 executable files and the rest of the two could be dealt with with a good antivirus program 
So for a browser, this is not a bad score at all. It's, in fact, it's an amazing score. So I have to say, the new Internet Explorer, that is IE9, it's not new anymore, it's uh, quite old, but I think this is the best browser when it comes to security. I will be doing some more reviews on like Chrome and the other stuff, but I think Smart Screen Filter does a pretty decent job. So as you saw, it caught 8 out of 10 links and that's pretty good, just for browser protection. So, I uh, hope you don't mind this, I mean this is just crap. Uh, I don't know how I got this, I just noticed it now. I'll have to, I guess I'll have to activate it again. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the review. Coming to security of IE9. Now this was just kind of like the default settings and also I had enabled the protected mode. You could also bump it up to high and that would probably block the remaining couple of links, I don't know. but. Yeah, it's going to block more stuff and it's got maximum safeguards and uh, very low chance that you're going to get infected by anything major if you turn it up to high. And if you enable the protected mode, it does do a pretty decent job. So, yeah, it does have pop-up blockers, stuff like that. Basically, the security, you've got three levels and I'd recommend Keep it at medium high, enable protected mode, and you're good to go. So, hope you guys enjoyed this quick little review. So, I'll be doing some more. Have a nice day, and goodbye.